All right, this is one last sick night <laughs> coming to you with another Astroneer video. Oh man, I love you guys so much that I am sick as a dog and I'm making a video for you. So I thought, you know, what would be really helpful for Astroneer players, but maybe new players, maybe maybe older players, and you just don't know these things. So I, I thought I'd come up with a series on pro tips. Oh, and uh, if your pro tip isn't listed here, you have another pro tip, a different pro tip, make sure you leave it in the comments below. So here you go. Here's a video for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Pro tip number one, terrain tool pickup. This is about probably the maximum you can get with your reach. But if you extend out your terrain tool, your reach will seriously expand, double, even triple the size, and allow you to pick up items from really, really far away. Whether it's that empty storage over there, or it's some piece of research that you thought was really out of range, or you're just too lazy to move from your spot and you want to pick up some resources. Pro tip number two, easy extender placement. So you have extenders and yeah, they're kind of hard to use, right? You, you don't know if you're going to like connect to it or not, or you know, you want to get the maximum distance and it's not too far away. But these suckers, they don't work very well like this. Put your extenders on your alternate slot. That way, when you extend out your cable, you can use your alternate keys, either C or V, to place your next extender. All you have to do is stretch your cable out to its maximum distance and press the alternate key. This makes it really easy to use extenders. Pro tip number three, don't waste hydrazine. All right, so you went to a planet, you came back, you got a half hydrazine container. Maybe it's a little less than half, and you're not quite sure if it's going to take you to the next planet. That's all right. Just stick it on your chemistry lab and use it to make a little bit of graphene. You can use half hydrazine to create your graphene without wasting a full thing of hydrazine. Bing. No more wasted hydrazine. Pro tip number four. Package your research. All right. So you've stepped off of Silva, and you're on this strange, cool planet. And you find so much research, but you can't take it home with you because you have no space. Don't worry about it. Just make a packager. Put it on the research. And package it up. Take it home with you. Pro tip number five. Extra landing pads. If you have more than one shuttle, make sure you either move your existing shuttle off of the landing pad. Or better yet, create yourself another landing pad so that your second shuttle has a place to land. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself stuck in space and having to run back to your base. Pro tip number six, research, research aid. Eventually, as you're exploring, whether it's in the caves or on the surface, you're going to come across Exodynamics research aid. After opening it up, you're going to find yourself a research sample. The research sample will provide you a pretty fair amount of research if you open it up instantly. But if you can hold on and take it back to your research chamber, it will provide you substantially more research bites in a very short amount of time. You can also place research samples found from exploding plants into the research chamber for about double or triple the bite amount that you would normally get it if you open it up right away. Pro tip number seven, package debris. You might not have a mobile scrapping station yet. And so another way you can get scrap is by packaging it up and taking it home with you. And easily stick it on your backpack. Some debris cannot be packaged. If it's too small, it won't package up. But the larger debris, you can carry home with you. When you get home, just unpackage it and process your debris for that tasty scrap. Pro tip number eight, rock destroyer. Okay, so maybe you don't have an inhibitor mod yet to get rid of these nasty rocks, but you do have some soil and you have your terrain tool. Just take out your terrain tool. You hold down Alt a little bit and just tap. And those nasty rocks will actually wind up disappearing. Pro tip number nine. Avoiding fall death. So chances are while you're exploring Astroneer, you're going to come across a very large cavern. Or <laughs> if you play with some of the people that I do, you're going to find a very giant hole right in the middle of your base. There's a chance that while you're falling down, you can convert that momentum into forward momentum and actually reduce the amount of damage that you take from falling. Pro tip number 10, stay seated. 
If you happen to be driving along and you come across some giant cavern, remember, don't jump out of your vehicle as you're falling. You take no fall damage while you're inside of a vehicle or a seat. Content creator tip one. Don't sneeze into your microphone. <sighs> oh yeah, this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, well that was my pro tip video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, put a like if you like the series. Leave comments in the comment section below. If you haven't already, you're not part of our community, we'd love to have you involved in our community. Hit that subscribe button. And what else? Oh, God. I need some tissues is what I need. <laughs> um, uh, oh, yeah, wait, wait. It's coming to me. My brain is just fogged up. Oh, if you want to follow me in my social media, uh, the links are in the description below. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.